what are the uh, signs that you need to retire your paintbrush? The first one is you bought a bad brush in the first place. <laughs> um, spend the money, buy a good brush. Um, cheap brushes don't perform well right out of the box. So, The rest of the time, nine times out of ten, the culprit is not being cleaned properly. And what will end up happening is there'll still be product in that brush when you put it away and it dries and then it's hard as a rock. This brush is unusable. So if the brush is cleaned properly after every use, it still only has so many uses in it. Things wear out. So here's a perfect example. This, this brush is <laughs> probably 10 years old. Um, and just from being used, cleaned with a wire brush, so that that puts some uh, damage, you know, that wears them out. The bristles just will no longer stay conformed to the proper shape and maintain a straight edge. So you got bristles covered with paint flying everywhere. Um, another thing that happens is you're cleaning it properly and you use it over and over and over and the bristles just break off at the end. So you're, you lose your nice sharp tip. It gets rounded over on the leading edge and trailing edge primarily, and then they also uh, get get uh, shorter on the edges too. So you have bristles that are much shorter than than some of the other ones, and they're not even making contact with the surface. And then also, here's another problem: the tip was starting to stay curved out, and the, as you drag it along, eventually, sometimes it, that these bristles will just stay curved out and won't realign properly. And there's another example of just a worn out brush, basically from use and use and abuse, the abuse coming from the wire brush, trying to clean all the dried paint off of the hosel area here. That definitely shortens their lifespan. So here's a brand new brush. You see all the bristles are well aligned, a nice straight, tight edge, sharp tip, uh, both flexible, you know, no stiffness to it, you know. That's what you strive for <clears throat> after cleaning the brush every time. Here's one I've used a couple dozen times. You know, it's been cleaned well. No, no uh, hardening of the hosel. You know, edge is nice and straight still. Tips pointy. So, you know, like I said, I have brushes that are eight, 10 years old and are still usable. So just because a brush is um, worn out or uh, not suitable for finesse work, or fine finish work. Um, I don't throw them out, I save them. Uh, they call them sacrificial brushes. <laughs> so, uh, I use them uh, uh, when I need to apply bin uh, primer, uh, a shellac based product or something like that. So I'll do a, one final use of it and, and throw it away. Or if I'm into uh, you know, roofing tar or something like that, that's you know, something you're not gonna wanna try and save it. You just need a, a bad brush that you can just throw away and not feel bad about it. So save those for that purpose and, and they'll, they'll have one, one last hurrah in life. <laughs>